What's up guys, today I want to show you how to animate color which uh, I use in one of my apps it's gonna be really cool let's create a new project so I think uh, the most common application for uh, animating color was uh, in the view pager and the introduction pages and that's where I used it so I think I'm just uh, gonna create a class and a view pager to show you how it's gonna look so this class actually I, co I think I found on Stack Overflow it's called animated color and it has uh, a start color and color and basically you create uh, this uh, instance of this class with the start and the end colors right and then you animate it uh, with the float from 0 to 1 for uh, this method with you pass a float from 0 to 1 and it returns a color for this position and as you see here it says HSV because you cannot animate uh, RGB color you need to translate it uh, in the constructor you call it to HSV method to, to convert your uh, RGB color to it and it returns a float array right consisting of uh, three floats now let's create a view pager here and if you don't know about uh, view pager I have a post about it which I'm gonna link in the description now what we need is an adapter extends uh, fragment state pager adapter and it's gonna be uh, I think uh, four pages now I can uh, create a basic uh, empty fragment but I want to display some text so let's create a fragment with the just text to make it more visible for uh, for the position of the fragment simple fragments and let's uh, yeah basically just gonna leave it the text like that all right and now we're gonna instantiate our adapter uh, set set adapter for our view pager here it is set adapter new new adapter which uh, takes a fragment manager and now let's try it out All right here is an empty view pager with just four fragments in the list and now let's uh, add the background for to display our animated color it's just gonna be a background of view pager so it's a uh, will retain across all fragments for a nice look I'm just gonna set a pager on page change listener and the first argument is the position uh, the page number and second is a float from 0 to 1 of uh, 
a current scroll position. So depending on uh, which page we are, we're gonna animate the colors. So first we need those colors. Let's create animated color, four of them. And first I need some colors, which I'm gonna declare here. those are gonna be the final colors for each page for first second third and fourth and our animated color class takes start color and second and the end color Let's just copy paste all of those and I need just four, two, three. No, I actually just need three colors and it's gonna be one, two, 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 three, and uh, three, two. Four. Like that. Here's the colors. So that's the first page, second, second, third, third, fourth. And here I'm gonna write a switch case. case zero so that's the that's uh, gonna be when I'm at the f first position here whoops and start scrolling to the right it's gonna be in this case and what I need is to set a pager background background color using our method called width and I pass position of set here break case 1 it's the second page and uh, when I scroll to the right from the second page if I scroll to the left from second page it's gonna be case one back again let's just copy paste that two, two, three. case two same for the this page three to four and case three is uh, when I'm at the fourth and the last page and basically there is no way to scroll to the right so I'm just gonna set the background color the final color without the need of uh, animating it it's gonna be This final color. Alright, and let's try it now. Okay, here's uh, our first page got 
in this color and uh, when I scroll to the right it's uh, coming here to the f this case 0 and animates our color background when I scroll back still this case 0 with just a different uh, position of set so when I scroll to the right it goes uh, from 0 to 1 and when I scroll from page 2 to 0 I mean from page 2 to 1 it goes from 1 to 0 like that same the next page and the last oops yeah and there is no way to animate to the fifth color so it goes back to green from orange and the the color change might, might not be perfect I think it's pretty okay and it looks great on the introduction pages I'm gonna link uh, the source code from github in the description tell me what are the cases do you think you can apply it and uh, thanks for watching click like and subscribe